All right, so in this video, we're gonna do a live demonstration on the Windows operating system, the Linux operating system, and the Mac OS operating system on how to identify your ARP table by doing the ARP-A command. So we're gonna kick it off with the Mac OS because I have that one up here in the front. Then we'll jump over to Linux, which is over here in the background, and then finally we'll do Windows 10. So with Mac, we need to open up Terminal. I have my Terminal down here, but if you don't have yours there, you can simply do a search and search for Terminal. And then it'll eventually pop up and you can open it there. It's gonna be a very simple process. We simply just do ARP-A, and there we go. Here we get our output on this system. And I actually just spun up this virtual machine. So I actually believe this output is gonna be the exact same from what you saw in the previous lecture on here because I actually took a snapshot of this and took it over to my current operating system that I'm running this virtual machine on. But that is the Mac OS. We simply do an RPA and we get our output. Now let me minimize this virtual machine and let's go to my Linux system. Again, it's gonna be terminal. Now, how you get to terminal is gonna be different on each flavor of Linux. I have Kali Linux, which is designed for ethical hacking because I work in cybersecurity. So you're gonna to have to see how to get to it on one version of Linux to next because, well, there's lots of flavors of Linux. So I can type in terminal, and if I click into terminal, you're gonna notice that there are multiple different types because this actual distro that's customized by Z Security has multiple different ones. We could click here to open up terminal. And when we go to there, simply type ARP-A and voila, there we go. Get same type of output that you saw with Mac OS. Now let's go over to Windows. With Windows, we need to go to command prompt. So you could search down here and type in CMD and command prompt will open and go ahead and open command prompt and then here do the exact same thing arp dash a and here's our output here's our ip addresses our mac addresses and the entries you're going to notice that there are dynamic and static ones here in this virtual machine just to show you the difference between the two so that's going to conclude our very short live demonstration. I just wanted to show you how you could run the R command yourself and show you how to get to terminal and to command prompt. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.